I'm Rosie Hardy, owner of Hardy's Cottage Garden Plants and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favourite hardy geraniums. Before we get started, if you would like to see any of our other instructional videos then please do subscribe to our channel and so that you know that you are going to see the next one, please then just mark the bell notification so you know when our newest videos are online. I'm going to start with a few of the hardy geraniums which are lower growing for a sunny spot. Hardy geraniums are a really useful plant family and they're one of my go-to plants. If you have a problem in the garden and you really don't know what to put in it, there will be a hardy geranium for you. Now these are all shades of pink. There are lots of other colours, but these are the ones that I chose. This beautiful one here, Geranium Elki, has this lovely big flower and in the centre it's slightly paler. Now you can always tell the differences between varieties of hardy geraniums because of the leaf and the shape and colour of the flowers. Elki grows in a quite prostrate way, comes from a central crown, wherever the arms hit it does not root. It's a really really beautiful plant. If it gets a little bit straggly then cut a bit off it. It will be absolutely fine, no problem at all. Then you have this bright pink one here in the middle. Now this has a similar leaf to the Elki. This is a sanguinium type and this one is Max Fry. Much, much tighter, much closer together. Can you see with Elkie how its arms are spread out and it's a little more open? Max Fry is much, much tighter. It gets covered in these amazing magenta flowers. Really, really good form. And then the other low one that we've got here, you can see with this one, the foliage is completely different. So the foliage on this in comparison to the foliage on the Elki, they are different types. So this is one way of telling the differences between a lot of the geranium types. It is all to do with the leaf and the flower. Now this one is a little beautiful one, this is Dalmaticum. Dalmaticum is one of these ones which is slightly creeping and it has a slightly scented foliage but it stays quite low and it's free flowering, it's a much softer pink. Really, really beautiful one. All of these love to be in a sunny spot. There are a lot of blue hardy geraniums out there and everybody knows of Johnson's Blue. This is true Johnson's Blue. Now, the reason I say that is everyone goes, oh, I'd like a Johnson's Blue in my garden. There are now better varieties. There's nothing wrong with Johnson's Blue. The only thing is Johnson's Blue flowers once. Yes, it has a lot of flower, but it does not repeat bloom through the year. It again has quite a cut and divided leaf, as you can see here, but it's quite a lot larger than the divided leaf of the sanguinium type. There we go, so you can see huge big difference there in the leaves of the different types of them. And it's a lovely clear blue, it's a lovely upright habit, makes a decent sized clump. Now, in the modern day breeding, there is this beautiful one, Brookside, that has come in. Brookside again, a lovely blue, a little bit more open in its habit, but the beauty with Brookside is that it repeat blooms. So you don't just get one lot of flower, it reblooms, 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 and it makes a really cracking plant. So this is an excellent one. And again, when you look at the foliage, the foliage is different from Johnson's Blue. And you can see there is a difference in the amount of dissection, the size, and that is how you can distinguish between them. Because if you were to just put the two blue flowers together, they would look very, very similar. So these will go in a sunnier position, maybe part shade, and they are slightly taller than the pink ones, which lovely, you know, really like to be in the sun. And then you get something like this. And just as I picked this one up, it went and lost a petal. But look at this beautiful large flower. This one is known as Derek Cook. Derek Cook is really, really good. It's a slight spreader. It's not too tall. And again, the foliage is different. The leaf is different. Let's look at it against a brookside leaf. There we go. 
it is different, it's much more solid. If you put it against a Johnson's blue leaf, again, you can see it's much more rounded, it's not as dissected and cut. So that is something to understand about them. But this will flower, huge big flowers, lovely white with this lovely purple veining in there, and it's gonna come out and make a good clump. Again, sun to part shade for this one. These will tolerate a little bit more dryness as well. There are plenty of hardy geraniums that will tolerate shade. Some will take moist shade, some will take dry shade. And I've just got three different ones here with me which I really like and I think are great plants. You've got the beautiful tall Fayum album. Now normally the Fayums are the dark coloured ones but the album is really, really beautiful. The flowers are nearly circular and the reverse you can see the green bracts on them so depending on which way you're looking at the plant you've got a different um, aspect on them. This again has a different foliage to the other ones that I have shown you and it's quite large so if we put it against the Johnson's Blue there you go you can see complete difference in those. It is a lovely plant. Now it is near the end of the flowering period that it's having at the moment and you can see where the foliage is and what you can do with this plant is you can just chop out all of the flower stems here and it doesn't matter if you take a little bit of leaf as well and you can reduce it back down to a plant like that after the first flush and it will put up a second flush and it will give you a lovely leaf dome as well. So that is worth remembering and it's a good tip for looking after them. So that is your Fayum album and it will tolerate dry shade. Then you have this one and this one is Nodosum silverwood. Now Nodosum silverwood's leaves are again a completely different thing. It is a very solid leaf. So you can see it's solid, it's also slightly glossy, and it's really, really great. They are excellent for shade again. They're wonderful underneath shrub roses or that sort of thing. Lovely white flowers, and they repeat bloom. Lots of other nodosums are purple flowered. Then if you want one of the hardy geraniums that scrambles, this is one of the best scramblers. This is Anne Folcard. Look at that amazing deep magenta flower with that lovely dark centre to it. And the one thing with Anne Folcard, which a lot of people worry about, is its initial first leaf when it comes out is yellow. And there is nothing wrong with that. It's the nature of it. That's how you know you've got Anne Folcard. But it puts on these long arms and it will scramble up through your shrubs and then you'll have the flowers coming up through. It does not touch the ground and root. It always comes from a central point. And once it's gotten much larger, you'll get loads and loads of this flower coming off it. Just a beautiful plant. That is geranium and folcard. There are lots of other hardy geraniums out there which are brilliant, which are slightly later in the season. They are a great family and you can find one to fit your garden. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening.